Welcome to Bioengineering 112B, Fluid and Cell Biomechanics. I'm Andrew McCulloch and we're here on the landing page in Google Classroom for the course. You can see on the stream tab of Google Classroom that this is where lectures and uh, homeworks will be posted with the most recent posting being at the top. So here you can see I have lectures 1, 2 and 3 and homework 1 already posted. And the lectures include a link to PlayPosit for the online video, uh, a link to a PDF of the quiz questions in that online video, and uh, a link to the PDF file containing the lecture notes in themselves. So let's go to the About tab and take a look at the course information. So lectures will be on Tuesdays and Thursdays, at 12.30 p.m. in Pepper Canyon Hall, room 121. Uh, we have two graduate student instructors, Matthew McEwen and Jenong Chen, who are both first-year bioengineering graduate students. So uh, let's meet them now. Hi, everyone. My name is Jenong Chen. I'm first-year bioengineering graduate student, and I will be your TA for BNG112 this quarter. I hope you guys can learn many useful things in this class, and feel free to ask me questions. Hello, I'm Matthew McEwen, a first year bioengineering grad student that works in Sam Ward's lab in orthopedic surgery. I'm gonna be your TA for Bioengineering 112B, and I really look forward to working with you throughout the quarter. See you soon. Matthew and Xinong will hold tutorial discussion sections on Wednesday and Friday uh, at one of these times on Wednesday and at this Friday time, uh, and we'll be announcing this week uh, who will be doing which one of those sections. The objectives of Bioengineering 112B are to apply the concepts and theories introduced in Bioengineering 110 and subsequently extended in Bioengineering 112A to problems and applications in biofluid and cell mechanics. Key topics include the mechanics of viscous fluid flows, blood flow in the circulation, the rheology and constitutive properties of whole blood and bioviscoelastic fluids, analyzing the mechanical properties of whole cells and cell compartments, including cell membranes, the cytoplasm, and the cytoskeleton. As in 110 and 112a, theoretical problem solving and the role of engineering design will be emphasized with weekly homework assignments that, we, that will be posted and submitted via Google Classroom. So here's the grade breakdown for the course. There will be eight homework and design assignments for a total of 40% of the grade. This quarter, we will also be using PlayPosit videos with embedded quizzes, and you can earn 20% of your grade simply by completing those videos and answering the quiz questions online uh, the day before each lecture. Now, there's some details down below on how that grading will be done, but essentially, if you watch the video from beginning to end and answer the questions, you'll get full points. It doesn't matter whether you get the questions right or wrong. In fact, the questions are intentionally challenging to make you think. And I use your responses and the questions that you post to determine what to focus on during the lecture when we're together each day, which is why I want you to complete the play posit video the day before. However, if you spend an unusually short amount of time on the lecture and you get an unusually high number of answers wrong, then the TAs will be authorized to give you less points on the assumption that you weren't sort of seriously trying to follow the lesson. Um, however, again, you know, as long as you make a genuine effort to complete the video and answer the questions before the, the day before the class, you'll receive full credit. And there's really no reason why nobody can't receive 100% of this 20% uh, component of the final score. There'll be a midterm exam which will count for 10% and then there'll be a closed book final exam which will count for 30%. Uh, as you know from 110, the course will be flipped and so uh, we will have play posit lectures that you're used to. I've tried to put more quiz questions into the play posit lectures than in 110, but there won't be separate quizzes in class. There'll be no clickers. There will be no Google Forms quizzes. The only quiz questions that I'll ask you will be embedded inside the PlayPosit lectures, and I'll also print a 
PDF version of those questions for you to download. One reason I'm doing that is because in order that you receive credit for answering questions and completing the lecture, I'm not able to allow you to resubmit questions. Again, it doesn't matter if you get the answers right or wrong, but if I allow you to resubmit questions, then the original time you spent viewing the lecture uh, and answering the questions will be lost in the records. So we don't want that. So um, instead, what we'll do is we'll give you a opportunity to print out the questions, think about them again, bring them to class. We won't be using Triton Ed except for grade distribution by the TAs. Instead, everything will be handled via Google Classroom, including all the links to play posit. The textbooks for this course are books that you should already have, uh, since uh, Humphrey and Delang, the required book, was also required for Bioengineering 112A. This is an introduction to biomechanics, solids and fluids, analysis and design. My copy is the 2004 edition, but obviously if you have a more recent edition, uh, that's fine too. You may have one or more of the recommended Continuum Mechanics books from BE 110, and if you do, such as uh, YC Fung's A First Course in Continuum Mechanics, or Spencer's Continuum Mechanics book, you may find them interesting and useful too. Uh, again, if you have a different Continuum Mechanics book or a different edition, that's also fine. However, you should have Humphrey and Delang, and there will be homework assignments that refer to examples and problems and information that's in that book. On grading, as you should know, while it's acceptable for you to study together, the homework that you turn in must be your own work unless specifically specified that it should be a team exercise, and it must be handwritten. You'll then scan it into a PDF and upload it to Google Classroom. All the homework will be submitted this way and graded via Google Classroom as well. Although we'll make every effort to accept late homework, all late homework may be subject to a late penalty at the discretion of the grader. Typically, they grade late homeworks out of a maximum of 85% credit or 75% credit if the homework is more than 24 hours late. We can't guarantee that late homeworks will be graded on time and they may not be eligible for regrading. And homeworks that are submitted after work solutions have been posted online will receive no credit. If you do have a extenuating circumstance, a health problem or other problem that requires an extension or exception to policy, then we will write, require uh, written documentation such as a doctor's note. There's some information here on integrity of scholarship uh, that you've seen before. Uh, you can find the university policies and definitions at academicintegrity.ucsd.edu in the general catalog and in the student code of conduct. In general, any case of suspected academic dishonesty will be referred to the UCSD Academic Integrity Coordinator by department policy, and cases of suspected dishonesty, uh, including cheating in an examination or altering graded work and resubmitting it, uh, will result in a grade of F. Here's some information about computing. I don't know if we will have any computer assignments this quarter, but if we do, they will probably use MATLAB, and if we do use MATLAB, then there's some information here on how you can get access to campus site license copies of MATLAB. Okay, so let's take a look now at the course schedule. We will start with an introduction to biofluid and cell mechanics, and then spend about two-thirds of the course on biofluid flows, uh, particularly in the circulation. We'll start on the kinematics of flows, then the conservation of mass or continuity equation, then the constitutive law for viscous fluids, uh, the properties of non-Newtonian viscous fluids, and then the conservation of linear momentum for Newtonian viscous fluids, which are the Navier-Stokes equations. And then we'll use the Navier-Stokes equations to obtain some well-known solutions for channel and tube flow and look at their implications on blood pressure and flow in the circulation and uh, the design principles of the arterial system. 
We'll also look at the Reynolds number and turbulence in the circulation, uh, Bernoulli's principle and its application to heart valves, and uh, the effects of the compliance of the veins and the arteries, including uh, pulsatile flow in the circulation and uh, the pulse wave propagation. You'll see that we have two midterm times. The first one is for everyone who's not in nanoengineering. The second is a smaller room um, that is only for nanoengineering majors uh, who have a conflict at this time. At that point, we'll wrap up and review biofluids and uh, start to introduce the mechanics of cells. And our first lecture on cell mechanics will be on the cell membrane, which will be given by Professor Rangamani from the Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Department, followed by a discussion of the cytoskeleton and the mechanics of the cytoskeletal filament networks. Then we'll talk about some measurement techniques such as atomic force microscopy and magnetic twisting rheometry, which is used to measure the viscoelastic properties of cells. So we'll revisit viscoelasticity in the context of the mechanical properties of the cytoplasm. And then finally, we'll talk about cell adhesion and gel contraction in the context of methods such as traction force microscopy. And that will take us to the end of the quarter. Uh, I think you'll find this is a, an interesting course, uh, fast paced, um, but not too theoretically challenging, um, uh, yet involving a lot of applications of theories and concepts that we've introduced in the last two quarters. So I hope you enjoy BE112B Biomechanics this quarter, and we look forward to seeing you.